Hello, so today we uh, or I I'm trying to introduce you a little bit to the banknote collections. So okay, let's open my album and let's see what I have inside. So the first two you can obviously see that this one is much more damaged than this one. So what is the difference? If I were to start collecting the banknotes, what would I look for? Okay, so obviously, as I mentioned, there is a difference between these two. Yes. So what is the difference? So this one is just perfect. You see the corners? All of the corners are sharp and the background has a perfect color whereas this one is a little bit brown because I mean it's been used there is some dirt on it you can easily see that there has been it's been folded a few times much more than a few times it is folded also vertically horizontally both sides so how how can we judge this it's just more or less the same bank node but how can we judge the value based on this so i mean for example this specific bank node it's from czechoslovakia it's a hundred crowns and it's from a year 1961 so this one I could maybe sell for like 5 euros and this one maybe for like 25 why again yeah it's kind of the same reason so this one been used has been folded a few times horizontally vertically it doesn't have the perfect color even the the corners are not sharp as you can see compared to this one which one is just perfect it's been never used it's just perfect so this is how you actually value the banknotes you look at the the condition of the banknotes and that's what gives you the most of the value yeah okay no i mean this one yeah maybe it's like 20 25 years worth or dollars or whatever i mean the price depends we're gonna talk about that much later but just to compare these two it's just okay i can sell this one for more because it's better quality and it's it's the same bank note right so this is what people should understand about collecting or selling or investing in bank notes is that the quality is that what matters because i mean there is tens of thousands or even maybe hundreds of thousands of these but then there are not as many of these because they are in perfect condition. Just look how they look from the other side. Again, I'm, I'm sorry about the light. I'm trying to make it work. It's not really obeying me. Okay, let's let's try this. So again, you can see that this one is in perfect shape. This one is obviously used. Okay, so this is actually how I started my whole uh, banknote collection or the banknote business. It was with this banknote. I got it for my birthday. So this is a thousand crowns of a Slovak state which existed throughout the Second World War. And actually, as you can see here, it there are small dots and all together it says specimen which is like kind of like specimen i don't know how they translate it it's just not a real banknote it's just um it is just a specimen the stamps we will get back to that later and this is how it looks from the other side it's pretty huge if you were to compare it to my finger, now we don't get such a huge banknotes anymore. Okay, so for example, this one is a 200 crowns of Slovakia 
from 2006 and uh, we got the euro in Slovakia in 2009 so it's not very kind of old banknote I mean it's just three years before the end but this company PMG paper money guarantee but it's kind of company which grace the banknote so if the banknote is just perfect I mean he's it has nothing, nothing bad, like it has sharp corners, no folds, nothing. It would get graded 70, but none of the banknotes of Slovakia were graded 70. Because, I don't know, it's just like 70 you only get if you get the banknote exactly from the company which prints this. So this might be the, um, the banknote from the National Bank of Slovakia from, from the time of 2006. And it was graded 67, which is really, really, really high. For this banknote, there are in existence, there are only three of those. So they are valued a lot. So it looks from the other side, okay. So now what I have, I kind of have a passion of collecting the, the 200s. So this is from the year 95, 1995, when it was first printed. And as you can see, there is a series A. This is series E. And they are both from the year 1995. Yes. Well, what matters in the banknote collection is also the series. So they get different series. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more in the future as well. I mean, this one, obviously you see that there is one more sign. There are a few dots here, a few dots there, compared to this one, which doesn't have. I'm gonna talk about that more. Here's one more, other one. Okay, so for example, this one. I'm not gonna mention much about this, just have a look at it. It's a Czechoslovakia from 1945, printed in London. Okay, so for example here at the top, I have a 2000 foreign, which is a Hungarian currency. Again, it's uncirculated, as you can see, sharp corners. No fault, nothing. This is the old euro. Well, I mean, it's still valid. You can go to the shop and shop with that. But these, which are in perfect condition, sharp corners, no fault, nothing, you're not gonna find anymore. These are the check rounds. It's just because, I mean, Slovakia and uh, Czechia, they are like culturally connected. So that's why I have those. Okay. This is, for example, commemorative banknote of Bulgaria. I am also going to talk about uh, what does commemorative means. These are the um, uh, Polish banknotes, which are currently even in circulation. So you can still take out this from the folder and pay with those and they are pairs as you can see one one more there one more one more there okay this is from Albania from 1976 these are from Croatia five kuna they do not print this banknote anymore. They, I mean, Croatia doesn't have euro, but they do not print it anymore. And the Tenkuna, yes, they do print this banknote even nowadays, but it's not purple, it's brown. So purple, it's only been in 93 when the um, Croatia kind of started its existence. So you're never gonna find a purple one. If you do so, make sure you you have it okay so i mean these are the dollars i mean all of us know the dollars so this is one dollar banknote very famous 
you can get it pretty much in any bank they are gonna exchange you this bank note for your currency whatever it is the two dollars bank note is very special you cannot really get this even in the US they people don't use it it's like I I mean they don't really print this bank note so I actually got it from the US because in the EU you cannot get this one 20 I got because I mean I just liked it nothing special about it well as you can see the one dollar maybe you've seen it before 20 nothing really special but what's special about the two dollar is there is some art so in the past um, people especially in the US on the first banknotes they used to put some art on the back side of the banknote just to educate people about the art so as we as we come back I mean they all look pretty much similar right but what's special about this that even one or or 20 they have more design but two never changed its design so that's why also from the other side you see still the art from like i don't know like from 70s let's say these are the fives so this is the modern five and this is the old five this one is from 19 88 you can still use the both because that's how america operates you can still use the old dollars but i mean you would be really stupid to use this one since it has much more value than this one in terms of um, collecting from the other side there is not much a difference now here what you can see is a hyper inflation banknotes so like this is from Yugoslavia where the hyper inflation occurred so I mean it's a lot it's a lot but it was worth nothing at the times like people were started a fire with this banknote this is the most recent one it's hundred thousand bolivars I mean you, you cannot even buy like uh, like tenth of the hot dog like nothing really these are from Zimbabwe and these are kind of really rare I actually got it from Zimbabwean people that's what made them special but I mean look at the values so this is what uh, hyper inflation does also this one this one this one this one this is the all this which I have in the collection is from 1886 but it has as little value as like 10 bucks maybe 15 dollars I mean just it's just there have been so many of those and uh, I think people kept it in the vault so nothing really happened to those there be just so many it's just very cheap so what I'm trying to tell you about this that is from 19th century but the price doesn't reflect that I mean the price only matters on the scarcity so how many of these are on the market if there are none of the market or close to none yeah the price will skyrocket if there are too many the price will be just very cheap so even this one you can get on eBay for like 15 or 10 bucks this one Brunei, I mean, I like Brunei, you don't even have to know what is Brunei, doesn't matter. These are from Bhutan. So this is the first banknote of Bhutan. I mean, it's still considerably cheap, I mean, it costs like 30 euros, 30 bucks. And this one is... I think it's very nice one it's from 1981 from Bhutan as well I mean they make really nice banknotes why these banknotes are so cheap even they are so old I mean there is not so much demand these are also from Bhutan I showed you this one just a while ago it was much uh, wider one and this one is from 1985 
so this one is much more common it's much more cheaper so this one is one two ten un gultrum is the currency un gultrum i'm not sure if i pronounce it correctly okay so this is the collection from nepal so this is one five this one is, I'm not sure, it's, it's 50 I suppose, and this one is 100. So, these ones are from um, Nepal, from 70s. I mean, look at the, look at the banknotes, how beautiful they are. There is no other specific reason why I collect those, it's just... Why they are so beautiful, I mean, from 70s, look at this. They're amazing. These are from China, from the region of uh, Manchukuo. I have no idea if I pronounce it correctly, but it's been uh, through the Russian. How do I say this? Um, Russian occupation, and uh, there are different years. A little bit you can see the difference, but if I turn them, you can see the difference much clearly. I just collected those because, I don't know, just for fun. Okay, these are from Nigeria. It's uh, 100 Nigerians. I, I don't know what's the currency, I don't remember. But what was the idea behind this? That there is, um, it's a misprint. So the ink, as you can see here, it got spread much more than it should have. This is from Japan. It's even currently worth It's a uh, thousand yen, worth like um, 13 euros. Here, the most famous mountain of Japan. So now we continue. These are the banknotes from like this one is from uh, Vietnam. It's actually plastic. I'm not gonna take it out to show you because I mean there is not gonna be anything to show you that. But these are from uh, India. These are all banknotes from India. They do not currently use these um, banknotes anymore. This is a pair again. Like you see the numbers here, so some people collect pairs. And these ones I collected actually myself, so they're both from India, originally. I mean, you can see, I mean, they're pretty. And now we are getting to the banknotes, which I do not value much. So I still have them in my collection, because just somebody brought them to me, or I have some specific, like, value to them. So, I mean... Here, for example, you can see the same banknote of India as I showed you before, but you can see some signings on those and stuff like that. Well, it's it's very common that in India uh, or, or in further countries, people write on the banknotes because the paper is more expensive than the banknote itself. So I, I have a bunch of these. I mean, it's not that they don't have value, it's just, I do not value them much. I mean, even this one, like, it's from Israel. It's 50 shekels. It's gonna be worth, like, 45 euros or even close to 50. It's kind of lots of money. But I still have this one among the other, like, priceless pieces. Because I do not value this one much. Maybe if it would be, like, perfect... Like sharp corners, no folds. Yeah, maybe I would keep it, but yeah, I still keep it because I brought it myself, and most of these I just got as a gift, so that's why I keep them. But I would not ne not necessarily like keep it myself. Okay, for example, this is like the the biggest banknote which I have. It's from Germany. Again, it's not valid much. It's maybe like five euros. 
I mean, it's it's pretty. Yes, it is. It's even from year 1910. So I mean, it's really old. But again, what I'm trying to show you in this video is that the year or the age of the banknote doesn't really matter. So what matters is the scarcity of the banknote. So yeah, I can have some banknotes from 2010 and they can be valued like 100 times more than this one. Just because many people have this one, it's just, it's common. So when you try to collect banknotes, look at the scarcity of those, look at how many people have this. I mean, that's what's going to be reflected in the price. But also think of what's interesting for you, you know, like, for example, here in the in the Europe, I mean, I'm pretty certain there are not that many people who collect, for example, Nepalese banknotes. I like those, yes, because I think they are very specific in design and uh, for the age of 70s, they are really like modern kind of. Yeah, but. I mean, my opinion can be different from opinion of the others. So always when you try to collect something, find something what you like and look at the banknotes. And again, we will come back to the beginning just to show you again. This is perfect. Sharp corners, no faults. It's just perfect. Nobody ever used this. This one was used hundreds, even maybe thousands of times. And the price very much varies. I mean, this one is like 25 and let's say this one is five. So this one is five times more expensive than the other one. So what matters in the banknotes collection is the condition. And that's what you sh should keep in the mind. Later, we will also talk about um, how to collect uh, specific banknotes, what to look for. And well, I mean, this is what you should get just as, as a beginner. And this is enough. And just find what you like and start with that. That's it. 